Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm in California today, Rancho Sio Mango. I think that's how it's called, or what it's called, I'm not sure. But uh, I was walking on this trail over here. I was like wanting to explore, but there was way too many people and, I, and all these ideas started coming to me. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about these. So I don't know if it's gonna be one or, I'll probably make it into three different uh, videos because it is three different subjects, but my first idea was about, um, now <laughs> I'm away from the child because there's so many freaking people. So if you're a YouTuber, you know how hard it is to film in public, at least for me, I'm not very good at it. So, so many people are coming by and I was like, fuck, I had to put the camera down, I had to restart talking. So I'm like, you know what? Good thing there's a field over here. So I'm just gonna go over here and then talk. <clears throat> Anyways, my idea was, is, uh, okay, it's about the loneliness epidemic. You guys, I don't know if you guys have heard the stats. Two thirds of Americans are are lonely, and it's all over YouTube. It's super popular. So many people make videos about it, and they all get millions of views. Two thirds of people have no one to call actual friend, like an actual friend, where you you know you call them, hey bro, I'm going through this. I need someone to talk to, and it helps. Like a friend that will actually listen to is very very important. Not just a family member, not just an acquaintance. Acquaintance does not listen to you. A family member judges you. So it's very important to have, to have an actual friend. And so many people in America <clears throat> don't have that. So it sucks. <clears throat> you know, it's not a good thing. So I've had this ideal for a while, man, since 2017. And guys, forgive me if I felt like my spit in my mouth. I've <laughs> I tried to make this video and like I had to stop it because I'm so freaking dehydrated right now. I just chugged a whole bottle of water, but my lips, they're dry and like spit kept sticking to it. I don't know, it was really annoying. So I had to start over and uh, what was I saying? <clears throat> oh yeah, I've had this idea since 2017. And the only reason I haven't talked about it because I thought by now someone would have made this app into an app or to an actual business brick and mortar where they, they've solved they've solved loneliness you know that's what I really want to do with this idea and I'm not a businessman I have zero desire to turn this into a business I'm not I'm just not wired that way I'm not a business guy I don't care about that type of stuff so if you guys if you're an entrepreneur you know steal this idea and make it make it to reality actually build an app or build a brick and mortar store and you can even, this is the perfect name for it. It's called the friend zone. I mean, it's perfect. So that's what you do. You go here and you make friends. That's all you do. So, okay. Let's say you build the app first, since we are in a digital world. First off, there is a bunch of social apps out there right now. And I, I'm, I'm not really too familiar with, with a lot of them, but I think they're not that good. This is my idea. I think. Like, you know, what's the big one? It's called uh, meetup.com. It's all a bunch of introverted people and social anxiety, and they're meeting up with each other. They don't have that guy that's there who makes you friends. Just like, you know, just like in school. Um, school works, this is how we make our friends, actually. It's either elementary work, or I mean, elementary high school in the early years, and you keep them for life, or if you didn't make any there, you make them in uh, your work. You know, because there's a there's a person there. Like for me, I have social anxiety, so I would never ever go up to someone. Hey, bro, this is my name. This is what I like. I would never introduce myself. I'm just I'm not like that. I always that's why I made a, but I made a shitload of friends in high school because there was always another. I, I would cling to a social person who would be the first one to talk to me. I would cling to him like, yeah, hell yeah, that's my friend, man. <clears throat> and they wouldn't introduce me to others, and that's how I made the rest of my friends was to that guy he was and he was extroverted he loved talking to people and he would bring people together and we, so that's i think that's what this um the modern apps right now are missing they're missing some teacher or extrovert that crowds everyone together and makes people comfortable with each other and that's how you build friends so my idea is basically you you hire that one person he has to be extroverted you have to interview him say are you talkative do you like making people um, come together. Are you extroverted? 
Um, you gotta weed people out because a lot of people probably lie just to get the job. But <clears throat> you weed them out and you hire extroverts because that's the secret sauce. You need that person that's there. It's like the glue. It holds the whole crew together. Let's say there's 20 people per class. I don't know, it could be more, it could be less, but 20 people, and you got the teacher. He's the extrovert, he's the, you know, he's one teaching people, and that's all you do. That's my idea. You got the one guy, it's either in a, uh, <clears throat> use the app, and you can build it, like, and say, hey, and the app has, uh, has people profile picture, what they like to do, their interests, just like dating websites. Uh, you can click on and say, oh, this guy does this, cool, this girl looks cool, I like their profile picture. Oh, I like what she's into. So you do that in the app. You can meet up at a hotel, like you know they make they make venue centers. You can meet up at a park. Doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter. You just meet up anywhere that's in your city. And but you have to hire a teacher. The teacher's there. You know, first day you say, hey, what's your name? What's your interest? Blah blah blah. You know stuff like that. But it's also I'm not a psychologist. I don't know how to actually build. Like I know the basics. You know, but I don't know deeper than that. So this company, if you make this company your app, you have to learn even more about psychology. And the first day is probably like, what's the very best way to make people comfortable? Do that. It might be a board game. It might be a, uh, it might be a, an actual game where you play basketball. It might be something else. I don't know. But the very first day, you need to make people comfortable. And uh, if people like each other, they'll come back. You know? And, uh, even it's not a one-time thing like oh I didn't like this person in this class I didn't I didn't get along with anyone you know try it again at least try it a couple times because in, you know elementary high school I didn't like the first person I talked to either but after a month I was like damn I kind of figured this guy out his personality it's actually pretty cool you know it's really nice didn't like him at first I thought he was a douchebag or into himself but then I started liking him so I think these uh classes will probably be the same way you probably won't even like anyone the first day but uh the teacher's there he's gonna make you feel comfortable bro come back the second day or come back the second time you know but you might actually like him a little bit more i'd say at least four times and i might take a month just do that but if you are if you do know you're like right at the bat you're like man i don't like anyone's energy they're all weird you know, i understand that Cause I'm like that too. I, I know right away if I don't like someone. Like, oh, their, their vibe turns me off for whatever reason. We just don't connect. If all 20 of those people in that class you don't connect with, pick a new class. And you can search other people's profile pictures th through the app. Pick another class, bro. It's not worth it. But uh, that's basically my idea. Um, the secret sauce is having that teacher there to make people comfortable. He's extroverted. He knows what he's doing. He loves you. He loves everyone. Shit, you can even be friends with him. You know? <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, it's crazy because you would think if these apps worked, like, um, the, there's a bunch of them. I, I forgot all the names. I know Meetup, but there's like 10 other apps that are basically on, basically all about building friendships. If they worked, there wouldn't be two-thirds of Americans that are still lonely. And it seems like it didn't solve anything because people are still more lonely than ever. Actually, more lonely than they've ever been. So if that, if that idea worked, we would have solved loneliness, you know? So that right there tells you everything you need to know about these modern apps. And they're missing the secret sauce, man. They're missing the extrovert teacher. That's what we need. We have that, we could solve loneliness, man. We really could. So if you're out there, build this app. I'd be your first customer. I'd, I'd be the first one to use this app, dude. I don't care if it's month. I'm not an economic. I don't know how the economics would work on a business, but if it's twenty dollars, forty dollars a month, I'd pay that every month. Even if I could only attend one class a month, I would pay forty dollars. You know, I don't know. It's, I don't know that side of the business, but someone out there, if you can build this, do it be amazing that really would be freaking amazing i'd be so happy because i'm lonely too just like everyone else so that's why i put the idea out there because i know someone will probably use this idea and build it so you know thanks for watching